Ah, controller players. One of the most dominant platforms in the Fortnite community all around the world. All right, so controller players make up a huge population of the Fortnite player base, and for a good reason. Consoles and controllers were among, you know, one of the first platforms in the world of gaming and have remained popular to this day. Now, controller players make metas, create new retakes, and are a huge aspect of Fortnite. Without controller players, the game would not be what it is today, and that is a fact. But ever since the start of the game, controller players have evolved. We all started as noobs who, you know, didn't know how to build. All we can do is run around and shoot, but after all this time that Fortnite has been out, players have gotten insanely good and have created their own unique playstyles. In this video today, we're going to be taking a look at the five main types of controller players and also how you can counter them. In addition, you're going to see which one you are. So the question of the day we need to ask, I mean like right now, what type of controller do you use? Now before we dive in, if you want to learn how to play exactly, I mean like exactly like the pro players, you got to check out ProGuys.com where we have the best coaches in the world. Sign up for our membership today and get exclusive access to master courses by players like Benji and Mongrel. And if you want to go more in depth and explore all the different aspects of competitive gameplay that you need to know in order to succeed, you got to head on over to ProGuide's website and be sure to sign up and start improving rapidly today. What's going on, guys? It is your motivation guy. That's right. Your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. I am back. Yo, we got to do this, man. This has to be our year. So I don't care what's going on in your life. Keep striving. Keep getting better. You know, one of the things that brings success is commitment. Everyone say commitment. You got to be committed to the very thing that you want to get good at. So whatever you want to be good in, whatever you want to be successful in, you got to be committed. Be committed. Go all in. And I promise you, you're going to see success. Connect with me at my new Insta at Your Motivation Guy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's about that time. It's time to sit back, relax, and get my favorite candy. Come on, say with me. It's that bunch of crunch, and let's get this going. Starting off with probably the most popular type of controller player, we have the Overbuilder. Who knows any Overbuilders? <laughs> this classic player is the one you're going to see whipping out their builds and just using them nonstop. Boom, bam, boom. I mean, they're all over the place, man. They're placing this and that, left and right. You know what I mean? Bada bing, bada boom, whatever they're doing. They have a perfect angle, but do they take it? <laughs> Most likely not, as they'll continue to keep building and building and building. Can you please yell out, stop, please? Overbuilders are just like one of the funnier types of controller players, mainly because they have extreme potential to be amazing players, they really do. This is just due to the fact that they spend so much time building and perfecting the mechanics that they do truly have some crazy building and high ground retakes, but you know, they just make the mistake of just constantly building. Like they do not know when to stop, all right? And they just have no clear end to their spree. So if this is you, you're lucky today, all right? And I wanna let you know that your motivation guy, Keith Allen, loves you because it's not that hard to fix your mistake and just start becoming a much better player. So don't be hard on yourself, okay? Start by focusing on getting angles and just taking shots more. Put less importance on your high ground and your building and start focusing really on just like landing your shots and just take more of them. In fact, you know, one popular way overbuilders will fix their problem is by underbuilding for a good while. Okay, so this is gonna help them and help you get used to not spamming materials and just, you know, get more used to actually shooting their weapon and dealing major damage. Okay, so this is where you wanna be and what you wanna do in order to become better and get accustomed to a more suitable playstyle. The thing is, guys, is that you don't have to worry about your building skills and not being good enough. All you have to do is just focus on your aim. Everybody say aim, come on. Making good decisions as well and positioning, super important. And you're gonna be well on your way to becoming a pro level player. Furthermore, on top of all of this, these players are just really notorious for dying to fall damage and just simply not shooting their opponents. Okay, so you've almost definitely ran into someone like this before, all right? Think about this scenario. You run up to an opponent and start putting damage on them, all right? You're getting it in. As soon as things start looking rough for them, they start cranking 90s like there's no sky limit. And there is a sky limit. I know, that, I know I say the sky is not the limit, but in Fortnite it is. These players tend to be really annoying to fight because people will try to combat their overbuilding by building, right? So let's just get into how you can counter these overbuilders and like truly put an end to their mission of reaching max height. Like, where are you going? First, pay attention to weak spots in their builds, all right? Many times, overbuilding controller players will not be paying attention to their opponents, and they're gonna be 100% focused on their builds. This is gonna give you guys a window of time to find areas that are loosely connected. 
Next, what you want to do is shoot these areas and bring your opponent down. By breaking their builds, you're wasting their materials, okay? And leaving them open to take damage as they free fall. Plus, you also have a chance at getting fall damage. Repeat this process of just shooting down until your opponent runs out of mats or dies from all the damage they've taken. Now, obviously, all right, most opponents are gonna realize that their overbuilding won't work after getting shot down a number of times. This is where they'll usually resort to like boxing up and engaging in a box fight. So we suggest watching one of our box fighting tips and tricks videos to get a really good idea of how to dominate in box fights. Okay, so now that you know everything that, that you need to know about overbuilders, you can dominate them when you run into them now, okay? And you're gonna know if you are one. L2 spammers are quite possibly one of the most infamous controller players in the community. Infamous meaning like known for like not a good thing. Before the advanced setting update to controller, all right, pretty much every good controller player utilized L2 spamming to get help with their aiming. But now that advanced aiming has came, only those that have chosen legacy have the ability to L2 spam, making them get criticism for their choice. Okay, so L2 spammers are seen as less skillful players because they use the aim assist given to controller players to their advantage greatly. They do so by utilizing the pull in effect that legacy aiming offers every single time they pump their left trigger on Xbox or L2 on PS4. So now it's not easy to judge L2 spammers on their kill, mainly because these players tend to know what they're doing. These are the OG Fortnite players that have been playing for a while now. And, you know, they've just chosen the good old aiming option that they're used to over the new one. So they could actually be really, really good players. You know, it really, really all depends on their building, editing, and in-game IQ, man. But what it doesn't usually depend on is their aim, because the L2 spam they utilize really makes it easy for them to just laser and hit all of their shots. So how do you counter a player that is so dangerously accurate? It's a good question. Well, what you gotta do is you have to play it smart, guys. Okay, so we've mentioned many times before that accurate Fortnite players are the most deadly, as having good aim is the most important aspect, I can't say it enough, of being a really good Fortnite player. The only way to truly counter good aim is by having incredible timing and strong decision making. Okay, so let's just say that you're in a fight where your opponent is like straight lasering towards you with an AR or SMG. You wouldn't want to open up by editing because you just get lasered. In this scenario, right here, and I mean like right here, you gotta play it smart. And you have to do so by actually countering their shots and just waiting for the reload. As soon as your opponent has emptied their clip, you have a window of time to push them without any chance of them being able to shoot you and just laser you. Okay, so this counter is only meant for L2ers with incredible aim though. It's not really necessary for every player, so we don't suggest using this all the time as it's just gonna run through your materials and just drag out fights like longer than they have to be. At the helm, we have the pro controller players. The chances of you being a pro player watching this video are really low because there are only a few hundred of true controller pros that are able to compete at the highest level, all right? These players are the ones that are racking up major money in cash cups in Fortnite events. Some well-known controller pros are unknown in Forbes. The best way, guys, to describe this controller player is the one that knows exactly what they're doing. Whether they're playing on Exponential, Linear, Legacy, or any other layout, they know exactly how to balance their building, how to you know, aim their weapons, and time their moves. They're also excellent when it comes to quick thinking and making important in-game decisions such as rotations and in-game plays. There's really not much to say about these players except that they're exceptionally talented and that their gameplay and earnings speak for themselves. Okay, so if you're interested in learning more about these players, you could just watch one of our analysis videos, such as our recent one, comparing Unknown and Forbes. Check that out. In terms of countering, all right, you really can't counter these players unless you are just better yourself, or you can just catch them in a tough position, such as a third party or a snipe. Controller creative warriors are another major aspect of controller players, as they're a good portion of the overall population, all right? This popular playstyle is led by Faye Sway. Ever since he first had his claim to fame back in the older seasons, where he was just well known for his incredibly fast 90 and building. Sway could build, man. He could edit and 90 but like no other player in the game. And it was all thanks to his sheer grinding and talent, man. Creative warriors are characterized by two distinct features. Check this out. First, we have their incredible mechanics, which is created from all the hours and time they spend practicing maneuvers and skill sets. Yes, it comes with practice. And second, we have their build fight talent that is due to all the 1v1 practice they get from facing off against other strong creative warrior opponents. 
So the best way, my friends, to counter creative warriors is by using unconventional utilities such as rocket launchers, grenades, and basically anything that's not a shotgun, AR, or even an SMG. These weapons are not used in a creative warrior's hours spent practicing, and they're excellent at throwing creative warriors off guard. Okay, so another great counter is box fighting, which is something creative warriors are decent at, but any advanced box fighter could easily outplay a creative warrior using the numerous techniques we teach in our box fighting tricks video, so you gotta check that out. The final and most pesky controller player is the low ground warrior. Okay, so being a low ground warrior is very popular amongst controller players due to the good aiming and ability that controller players have. Being good on the low ground depends mainly on your ability to aim well from strange angles, which is something like most people tend to be really good at. So we've seen time and time again, controller pros like Unknown Army simply just stop build fighting and just use their low ground strategies to dominate an opponent. Being a low ground warrior, man, it's very interesting. You know, it really relies greatly on players' ability to use anything they can use to their advantage. This includes tricky plays to make their opponents make mistakes, or even something as simple as like fooling someone into dropping down from their high ground and then dominating them with your incredible aim. Low Ground Warriors, guys, has lots of different skill sets that can all really be used to finesse opponents in awkward situations. But how do you counter a Low Ground Warrior? That's the question. Okay, first, these players tend to leave themselves open at times. They really, really do. Something as simple as like a jump shot to quickly placing a floor could easily prove to be effective against some Low Ground Warriors. Whereas on others, you're gonna need to use advanced like misdirection tricks with your materials to throw them off. So you can do this by placing multiple floors and editing through a corner off one to make it harder for them to predict your position. Or you can just place ramps and pyramids on one side while you fall down on the other. Once again, catching the opponents off guard. You get my drift. In the end though, okay, so these are the five most common controller player types. But of course, there's an infinite number of player types, all right? It's infinite, we, we get it. So you don't have to be afraid to be different, all right? Who knows? Maybe you're gonna be the next face sway. Who believes that? I believe it, come on. Also be sure to comment down below like which one of these controller players you're the most similar to. All right guys, once again, this is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Make sure to connect with me at my new Insta, at your motivation guy. Listen, I believe in you. I am your number one fan, so keep going. Don't surrender. We hope you enjoyed today's video. Please comment down below what you guys thought and what you like to see next, because we strive to bring you guys daily quality content. So do us a favor by liking this video, subscribe to the channel, and show ProGuys.com some love by using code ProGuys in the item shop. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.